Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 4th, 2020. So today we have Libyan Gold Tectite Manifestation. Now, we are taking our focus from the individual and bringing it out into the world. And so one of the things that we need to be very mindful of is give yourself a little test right now. Maybe grab a, a piece of paper and a pencil or something like that and ask yourself, what did I think? What was my first thought when I saw manifestation? Go ahead and write it down. Pause the video. And when you come back, let's look at this. Was your first thought, yes, I'm going to manifest the life I want. Not bad, but that wasn't my first thought. <laughs> I would be curious to see what other people thought. Um, my thoughts went to the collective what we're still choosing to manifest as a global community. Now, do you see yourself as a part of that? Now, if you thought of yourself, not the worst thing in the world, but that is something that we want to start getting in check. This is about community. This is about realizing what our part in that community might be. Even energetically, what do you offer to the collective? Now, if you're sensitive during this time, it's not uncommon for people to feel depression, to feel anxious. I have next door neighbors that are acting like they're caged animals right now. It's the weirdest thing. I'm like, listen, y'all, <laughs> like, <laughs> you can calm down. It's going to be all right. Okay. Um, but, <laughs> but you know, when, when you're sensitive and you pick up on that energy, it can suddenly bring you down too. This is a time where, you know, we were talking about self-care. We really need to be focused on making sure we aren't taking on too much, that we are finding our light and putting it out there. Okay. It's just that time. And that's, what's going to help us move forward. That is what's going to help manifest as this card is saying a different outcome. Now, for those of you out there who are really pushing on a manifestation right now for something in your life. Now, maybe you're trying to manifest money because you're afraid that you don't have enough money. I understand that. I understand. But if this stuff is going on in the world and you're still trying to manifest that one love partner because you can't believe they got away, get that piece of paper out again and say, what do I think is most important right now? Michelle, how dare you? This is so rude of you to say this. I think it's rude to be thinking only of ourselves right now. It's not terrible, but a little rude, okay? <laughs> well, your energy is needed. And if that doesn't resonate, all right, well, I'll see you on the flip side. We'll see who lands on what side of history. That's all I'm saying. I know I'm sounding self-righteous. I don't mean self-righteous. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is get the message out there to start redirecting what are what we're putting our energy into. Okay. For me, um, I'll admit I'm completely human. I was just giving that example. Like it, it bothers me when people take liberties with me and don't respect my space or my peace and quiet. You guys know this. I have a little thing about that. Now, do I want to put all of my, it's really, actually, I got a perfect example. The second I took my attention off of my neighbors, now they're being quiet. What you focus on amplifies, right? So we have to figure out what we're doing with our energy. Where is it being directed? How can we help? Where do you want to land? It's up to you. All right. So we're going to leave it there. Hopefully not too many people get mad at me for saying that. <laughs> Sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.